I'm Matthew with the Public Laboratory, and this is a $200 camera and a five cent crash cage. Still good. Welcome to our instructional on how to make a uh, camera crash cage. So what you just saw was my Canon S90, which is filming this right now, uh, drop from five feet onto a hardwood floor just in this uh, V8 bottle, juice bottle. And uh, it was held in place just with this group of rubber bands and string all tied together. It was a somewhat simplified version of these, which are our uh, camera protectors that we fly on kites and balloons. And so I'm going to show you some of the salient features of these, how to pick out a bottle for your camera, and how to rig it up so that you don't lose your camera when um, something unexpected happens, like uh, you know they crash into a pile of rocks. So watch this. As you can see, in a light or even a heavy breeze, the camera stabilizes itself in one direction and uh, so it prevents spinning. But let's start with the first section, uh, how to pick out a bottle that is right for uh, your large camera, your small camera, or for your phone. The first step in making a bottle protector for your camera is to pick out the right bottle. We recommend uh, two liter bottles for small cameras and I'll show you how to build uh, housing out of this in a second. There are a lot of other bottles out there. We have a spreadsheet where you can go log uh, the best bottle for your camera. You can click on it below and edit it, add your camera in when you find one. But our general strategy is going to be the same for every camera. We want a bottle that the camera will fit in and uh, that is strong enough to protect it. So this is the soda bottle are kind of a medium strength. It's fine for small cameras. For bigger cameras, we need a larger container. It needs to be a little thicker. So I'm going to see if my camera fits in by holding my camera up to the side of the bottle. Seeing whether it looks like it's going to fit in. Turning the bottle upside down, holding the camera against the bottom, looking to see if it's going to fit in this profile. Now it looks like I found a match. Um, so the issues for small and medium cameras and large cameras are roughly the same. Now for phones, we have a different set of problems. See, phones, unlike other cameras where the lens is pretty close to the middle of the camera, phones are way off center. This one is in the middle of the top, but the iPhone and a lot of the Android phones are in the upper corner of the phone. This means that the lens sits really close to the wall of the bottle. And in fact, the wall of the bottle can block most of the image because the lens is so close to it. You need to pick a big bottle for a phone because you need to have the phone approach the bottle at an angle like this. You need to have the bottle slope away from the lens in order to get a clear picture. You also have to watch out for these buttons that are on phones, on the top, on the side. You want to make sure that your case isn't going to accidentally press those. And by having an angle such that the edge of the phone rests against the um, container, that will prevent button pressing to a large extent. So you're going to lean towards larger containers for um, small, even for small phones, because you want the phone to sit up in this um, up in this conical top of the uh, bottle. So this one would fit like up there, with the bottle sloping away from the camera. 